Hi everybody, this is going to be another Dressing With Your Corset Style video. A couple of months ago, somebody asked me whether wearing your corset underneath a shirt and then wearing a belt over top of that so that you're not showing your corset over top of your clothing but you are still accentuating your waistline, whether that belt would actually cause damage to the corset. In the same way that if you, say, tied your laces really tightly around your waist, that can cause friction to the fashion fabric and if your fashion fabric's really delicate, like Dupioni silk, it could wear away at it or uh, it could actually cause some of the steel bones to permanently kink at the waistline or even your front bust to kink if you are pulling your laces that tightly. If you wear a belt that is that tight around your waistline, it could possibly cause damage. In my experience, I've never actually worn a belt so tightly that I wasn't able to at least shift it around a little bit or rotate it or something on my waistline. So it's not like I'm using the belt to deliberately try and force my waist even smaller than the corset could accommodate. So I have never personally experienced any damage to my corsets by wearing a belt over top of a shirt over top of my corset. However, if you only own corsets with a delicate fashion fabric, or if it's even generally a concern for you, you don't have to wear belts to accentuate your waistline. There's other ways to accentuate it. So this is what I'm going to show you today, where you're able to wear a corset underneath your clothing but still have an accentuated waistline by using these elasticated cinch clips here. Now this is going a little bit old school because I vaguely remember seeing these in the early 90s and I'm fairly certain they existed in the 80s, but I completely forgot about them until I saw another corset YouTuber, uh, Gabrielle, actually wearing these in one of her videos and I'm just like, that is so smart. So I picked some of these up. I actually got a pack of six of them, all different colors. So uh, you can match the elastic as closely as possible to some of your clothing so it's less conspicuous. Uh, you can also get the hardware finished in silver instead of gold. Unfortunately, uh, I believe the silver was out of stock when I bought it, so I just decided to go with the gold anyways. These were fairly inexpensive. I think it worked out to $2.75 each. If you are able to actually find a Notion store that sells these clips on their own, you could probably make them yourself for even cheaper. However, for those of you who just can't be bothered to uh, sew these yourself, I will post a link below to where I actually got these on eBay. I believe the name of the store is Rainbow Connection. So this is a sweater dress that I'm sure many of you have seen before and you can see that when I pull it down it doesn't actually uh, accentuate the waist at all. And here's what it looks like when I have the cinch clip in the back there. So you can see a very nicely accentuated waistline, very smooth around the waist because you can adjust it uh, however you want in the back and there is no pressure, uh, no tension along the waistline so you're not doing any damage to your corset. So to use one of these cinch clips is very simple. Take one of your modern shirts and pinch either side and pull the fullness back so you can see where you think looks best. In the back, try to have each side pinched to the point that there's an approximate 4 inch gap between them. Then open up the clips. You'll see that it has plastic teeth to grip the fabric, so don't use this on super delicate fabrics that could get holes easily. To open and close it, all you need to do is pull up or push down that top part that doesn't have any teeth. Remember where you had pinched your shirt before and apply the clips there. Here it's a little bit lopsided you can see, so I decide to move one side down a little bit. It's really easy to adjust. 
So I hope some of you found this informative or inspiring. So there are definitely ways that you can still wear your corset underneath your clothing, yet accentuate your waistline and not have to worry about any sort of friction or damage caused by wearing a belt over top of your clothing. So if you have your own methods to accentuate your corseted waistline underneath modern shirts or modern clothing, let me know in a comment below or better yet, post a video so we can all see some of your fashions as well. And I will see you guys after the weekend for another video. Bye. Thank you.